what is going on guys welcome back to another video on my channel right now we're at the shop as you can see um sweating right now but uh in today's video we're gonna be doing a little bit of an axle swap cv axle sorry we're doing a cv axle on my friend brian's car you've seen him in, a, in the latest couple videos uh he wanted to use a lift so i have uh, the cars out and uh Right now I'm just cleaning the shop just so, you know, less mess and just uh, clean it up a bit because uh, garbage was overflowing and whatnot. And I just wanna, you know, keep this place nice for Chris when he comes back. When he comes back, I don't know when he's coming back. Chris, you know, you say you're coming back, but you don't know, but no, we can, I'm joking. He'll, he'll be back soon. But uh, yeah, we don't do the CV axle on his three. Um, he's uh, He used to be a, uh, Mazda tech so you know it should be a breeze he should know what he's doing as long as we have the tools for him and then um, <clears throat> afterwards um, I'm gonna take out the front camber of my car just because uh, I don't have my car aligned just because uh, I, I just don't have the money for that but uh, yeah take out the front camber um, the, uh, the driver's side I think is showing wire so I just want to make it last that long, that that much longer. I mean, I had these flip, but then I went to a tire shop to get these tires put on the RPF ones, but then they didn't put the meat side on the inside, and it, it's just a hell hole. So I gotta kind of roll the fender, roll the fenders, and then remove the camber, so it'll look not as spacey, and I could probably go lower a little bit, but uh, yeah. So it's gonna be a, like kind of a pack not not really pack full day but it's just you know something something for you guys to watch because some of you guys just say we just want videos from you so you know that's what i'm doing but uh you gotta wait for brian to get here and uh yeah hold on and just like that obviously it's florida and it rained it rained hard for a quick like 10 minutes not even and it's uh gonna clear up but uh yeah brian's here Usually your car's on the left, it's cleaned up a little bit, trash is out, done a sweep because uh, he came faster than I thought. But uh, what are we doing, Brian? I already told him about your CV accident. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah. It's fucked up. Split boot and all that stuff, so. Yeah, gotta love it. And my AC shot. It's okay. No, it's Florida. Yeah. But if you live in Florida, you gotta know it's hot as balls. We do, but not, we do not believe in winter in this place. <laughs> <laughs> Winter does not exist here. Well, of course. Uh, what size is that? 31, 32. I might have that. Maybe. But uh, it should be easy, simple on that. Like I said, uh, Brian was a Mazda tech, so he, he knows what he's doing. But uh, I might have to go borrow. Uh, 30, huh? uh, we might have it. 32 is right here. But uh, yeah, more, right? We good?
show you guys the fucking axle is really ready to come out. So that's what you get for having some camber. After a little bit of hammering, axles under the knuckle, and then we just gotta separate the other side from the transmission, which is just a pry bar, and it should come right out, right? Yep, fun fact, also, I don't like the fucking... Camber. Yeah, I don't like being low, because the axles <laughs> don't flex enough. All right, <laughs> we just had a funny moment. After banging on it for a good like solid 20 minutes, Brian was like, hey, just grab some pliers and put some uh, pull, put some pulling force on the other side. And literally like a minute into it, it it's out. Yeah, this, this is what you, yeah. So, I'm, I'm done, like, look at this. Like, fuck. But now it's time to put this AutoZone special rod in right here. AutoZone, sponsor us, please. <laughs> uh, put it out in the comments how long you think this one will last. What? How long you think this one will last? It's AutoZone special. I give it two weeks. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let me set you guys up for a time last to put it in and put it back together. But turn into a probably like hour job, not even. Turn it into a little more of a headache, but. Oh, no. Yeah, no, no, it's always, it's cars. <sighs> Alright guys, so Brian's car is all done. My car is in, Lex is back in. Um, just doing it quick, just like I said, a quick roll, take out the camper in the front, just so it lasts a little longer because I got a, I got a trip to go on Thursday with this car. So I want to have the least amount of problems. So I take out the camber, roll it, and then probably go lower a little bit. Just because, but then again, the rear tires, the sidewalls are smaller. Those are 40, these are 50. So it's just, it's different, so, but, yeah, you guys get what I mean. I'm gonna just set you guys up.
All right, guys, so I took out the camber, uh, rolled this as flat as I could without, you know, obviously a flannel roller just with a hammer and all that stuff. Didn't chip the paint at all, or nothing like that, no, no cracks or anything. So we're gonna see how it is. I just loaded it half an inch, just to just, just see how it is. Uh, clearance is fine, it's not gonna rub on the coilover, so I just, I'm gonna lower her. Gotta let it settle. But now we're gonna move over to the other side, take out the camera there, lower it half an inch as well. And uh, yeah, and then roll her out and then just see how she looks. All right guys, so the car's outside, took it for a test drive, doesn't rub or anything like that. It's not a huge significant difference, but I know is that it's not cambered anymore. No camber in the front, fills in the gap a little bit better. Um, just, Made sure, you know, it doesn't rub on the harness or anything like that. Nothing crazy, but uh, did lower it half an inch. Well, driver's side, I had compensated for me being in it. So I had it a little slightly higher than the other side, but she's talking a little bit of tire, but obviously she still got to settle some more. And then just slight adjustments. I still need a, a smaller sidewall tire because the rubber band's in the back and then you got meaty boys up front, but you know, trying to give that drift boy look <laughs> but uh that's basically it for now um brian's car is working good and give a good overview of it with the silver bumper this is not the bumper that he's going to have on it he's doing uh, a change to it this is just so he gets all one color again some appreciation his instagram is going to be right here you already know for a three, this looks good. You know, nothing crazy. Instagram right here. Y'all wanna know? Brian underscore Mazda three. No, you gotta be different out here. He wants to put an RB in it. I told him that's kind of insane, but you know, it is what it is. But yeah. All right, guys. Surprisingly, it's still light out. Uh, usually it's pitch black, dark, and late night, but. We got what we need to do. Cars are in, cars out. Brian's car is out. Axle feels good, guy. Yeah, fine. For now. Car's never done. Yeah, car. Part of the cars are never done, never. But uh, we always got something to do. But uh, uh, I think like it's gonna be it for today's video. Um, sorry if it's like kind of short. I gotta do. I still gotta edit it. See how long it really is. But uh, yeah. Um, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Put it down in the comments what you guys want to see next. I'm um, not really going on, not a lot going on for the 240. Just uh, you know, paying bills, saving money, here, this and that, blah blah blah. And you know, eventually things are gonna come. Just gotta wait. But uh, hope you guys like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.